Hi everyone, we're doing the immune class tonight and our focus is to provide you with education surrounding ways to support your immune system. And then each of these brilliant women will be sharing their own testimonies associated to the products in the immune bundle, products that are known to support the immune system. And then we'll each be sharing our own little tips and tricks of things that we do to support our immune system so that you can pick our brains and everyone has their own little flavor of things that we do. So you get to hear from each of us. So I will let each person introduce themselves and we'll start with Sarah Trumfio. Sarah, do you want, mind introducing yourself? Hello everyone, Sarah Trunfio. And I don't know what you want me to say, but. <laughs> I put you right on the spot, right out of the gate. Go ahead and yeah. introduce yourself. Sarah, do you mind just sharing what you do during your um, daytime hours? And then also I'll, I'll share that you are an oil guru. So you're able to share some knowledge tonight. So my daytime job um, is that I lead professional development for um, the Herkimer area, the Herkimer County area. And um, I love that because I get to teach. And um, that's one of my favorite things about being, you know, in this business, uh, I get to teach um, and, and share all some, some awesome things about essential oils. So um, yeah, cool. Thank you. And Sarah has two kids. So you're able to add in some flavoring of using oils on children too. Absolutely. Wonderful. Um, Brittany, do you mind introducing yourself to everyone? Hi, I'm Brittany. I am a massage therapy instructor by day, and I've been a massage therapist for about 10 years, and I've been involved with doTERRA oils for just over two years. So I have a little bit of like that, well, that holistic background, and I just love sharing and educating about the oils and just incorporating them into my home life and into my massage practice too. Cool. Thanks, Britt. Liz, you want to go next? Sure thing. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Crawford. I'm in Utica, New York. I'm an essential oil educator, and I'm also an integrative nutrition health coach. Um, I love everything food and nutrition and oil. Um, happy to share everything with you that I can tonight. Cool. Thanks, Karina. Yeah, thanks, Liz. And Sarah, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I am a licensed clinical social worker in Enville, New York. I have been working with Zotero Essential Oils a little over two years, and I have two kids, and I'm really excited to talk about tonight's products because they're a huge part of just the regular routine in my house. So I'm, I'm excited to hear everybody, everybody's stories and, and talk about building immunity. So thanks, Katrina. Cool. And I'm Katrina Potter, for those of you that haven't met me. And I previously was a pediatric speech language pathologist, shifted careers to do doTERRA full time, and just recently added in an integrative holistic life coach. And I think for me, one of the aspects of this topic that I get so excited about is using the oils on both of my children and seeing drastic shifts in their health as I have implemented these products. So I think the beauty of talking about oils that you can use to support your immune system is there is such a spectrum of use. You can use them in your home, you can use them on your body, you can ingest them, you can use them on your babies, you can use them, whatever, for your pets. I mean, there's so many different topics that we could go on to or into, but the focus and the intention for tonight is to spend from now until about nine o'clock on here and provide ed education and testimonies and feedback. And you're welcome to share comments and questions that you have in the comments section. And we'll go into whatever tangents the fit for this topic. So when we're talking about immune health in general, I do have a PowerPoint for those of you that are more of a visual learner. 
And just to, to kind of segue into that first, when we talk about immune health, there's so many different areas that we can go into. The topic of immune system is very vast and there are a lot of different things that go into supporting your immune system. When we're talking about it, they just created the new immune bundles and there are the immune bundle and there are two other areas which we'll be diving into in the upcoming weeks. So we also have pain and inflammation that's coming um, and then mood and um, like mood and stress management also coming in a couple of weeks that we'll be sharing. So the beauty of these topics is they all work in the body cohesively. One thing is supporting another thing is supporting another thing. So while stress management definitely is something that supports the immune system. We're not going to dive into that for tonight's topic, just because you are going to get that in the next couple of weeks. So let me share my screen with everyone um, so that you can... Oops, and of course it's not at the beginning. Okay. So when we're talking about the immune system, one of the things that I think is really valuable to talk about is what are the signals that your body is sharing with you? We often are so fast paced that we don't stop and pay attention to the signals that our body is giving off. So when we look at the signals, pain, inflammation, chronically having some sort of a sinus issue, or any type of uh, chronic issue is a sign from, from our body telling us something. When we're looking at immune system, it is impacted globally by our sleep habits, by our diet, our stress levels, our overall spinal health, and our overall hygiene. So all of these areas, like I was mentioning before, play a part. We're not going to dive into stress. We're not going to dive into sleep. We're not going to dive into diet. I mean, we're, we're going to just talk a little bit about different oils and things that you can do. Before going in depth into that, one of the things that I encourage all of you to do is take a look at the pyramid that comes from doTERRA when it comes to lifestyle and healthcare. And the intention of this is to take a second to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10, what are your eating habits like? What are your exercise habits like? So one being you have an, a, some improvement to do and then 10 being you're really diligent in that area. And score yourself on each of these areas because sometimes when we have it in our face or we have a quantitative score, we can really see this is an area, you know, when I started doTERRA, I came into it thinking I was pretty healthy. And then I did this scaling system and I found there's actually areas that I can improve my health where I can take it to the next level. So I would encourage each of you to take a second and put a score for each of these areas and be real with yourself. It's not for any grade or anything. It's just to see, okay, what's the next area or the next aspect of my health that I want to focus on. And when we look at these all of these areas impact our immune system. So we're going to be talking about oils that will improve your immune system, absolutely. There are oils that support your body with their antiviral or antibacterial components, absolutely. But when we look at global health, we're looking at each of these areas. So this is just a really great starting point where you can create the foundation or look into things. And last week, Liz did an awesome presentation where she shared about the lifelong vitality supplements. I would say if you're wanting to focus on your immune system, this is a great starting block. The lifelong vitality has the key nutrients and vitamins that your body needs. Sorry, my daughter's in the background. Daddy! <laughs> Each of these areas support the body's immune system. So if you're taking these supplements, you're getting that strong foundation. You're getting the vitamins and the nutrients that your body needs. When I first started using doTERRA, I mentioned I was a pediatric speech pathologist. And in my experience, prior to what I thought was healthy, I was 
actually, you know, I was working with little kids, a lot of germs, and I was sick pretty consistently. And I started shifting over into these natural alternatives that doTERRA provided and I, or provides, and I started to find, wow, I'm actually not getting those uh, consistent colds that I was getting before. And I just noticed that I, I started to, to feel better. My response was better to a little bit of a threat. And it just became this gradual shift into confidently able to say my body is able to respond really consistently to different threats. And I don't find that I um, struggle with that getting chronically sick anymore. So as we shift into talking about different oils, this is a blend that you've probably heard of. It's called On Guard. And On Guard has, it. so when we look at oils, there are single oils, meaning one plant, and then there's blends of oils, meaning there's multiple plants put together. This is a blend specifically designed to support your immune system. It's called the Protective Blend. It has a lot of really strong immune supporting oils in there. And what you can see on the left hand side of the screen is a Petri dish. And in that Petri dish, there's four different types and it's showing synthetic cleaners and then also On Guard being on the top left. So you can see where the On Guard cleaner is performing the strongest out of any of the other synthetic cleaners with a threat of um, germs and and then on the right hand side of the screen, you can see how On Guard performs with mold. So those are pieces of bread. One is the control, the one on the right that was put in a sandwich bag with nothing added to the bread. And then in the top of the piece of bread on the left hand side of the screen, it was um, On Guard was applied. The bottom, it wasn't applied and that was put in a sandwich bag also with the intention of growing mold. So when you're looking at adding on guard into your routine, what I love about this is from an environmental standpoint, it does amazing things. And when you're using the oils in your body, it's helping to support your immune system in the same way. So it's something very counterintuitive to think the same product that you're using to clean your countertops, you can also use in your body and reap those same benefits. Okay, so if we look at On Guard, it's available in multiple different avenues. Certainly as we're coming into the winter months, this is a great product line to be consistently using. And we're gonna share each of our testimonies at the end, but for me, using On Guard just fits in. I would say I probably use it 10 to 20 times a day consistently in different areas. So for example, On Guard is infused into the laundry detergent. Well, if you think about when you're out and about, your clothes are clinging to a lot of, or a lot of germs are clinging to your clothes. Well, when you use a traditional synthetic laundry detergent, not only is it full of chemicals, which then bogs down your toxic load, those that laundry detergent is, doesn't have the antiviral antibacterial components. So by using the on guard laundry detergent, you're cleaning your clothing. There's also a concentrated cleaner. I love it. This is the one product that we use all throughout the house. I squirt it in the toilet and I also use it to clean the countertops. It's in the floors. It's just a great all purpose cleaner that you can use to, with the on guard properties in it. They also have on guard in toothpaste and mouthwash. If you think about your mouth and how much exposure there is to different germs, that's a great way to be not adding toxins into your oral health care routine and also supporting the body while you're, you're doing it. Uh, about a year or so ago, they came out with the On Guard Sanitizing Mist. This is super handy keep it in your purse, your diaper bag, in your car. I have one in my cup holder. As soon as I pump gas, I use it there. It's just a nice quick little routine without the toxic chemicals that are in traditional hand sanitizer. They have the On Guard blend in foaming hand wash. We love that. There's the On Guard beadlets, little tiny beadlets where you can just pop them again and they're great for in your car or in your purse. So you have a little dose of On Guard, you 
pop it in your mouth or you can swallow it and you're getting that quick little immune boost. There are, there's something called On Guard Plus soft gels. Hands down, absolutely every single home should have these. I fully believe that. On Guard Plus is a soft gel with other antiviral, antibacterial oils in them to help to support your immune system. So this first sign of a threat or the first time that I'm feeling the slightest tickle in my throat, we're taking, or I'm taking those. We take them sometimes like during the winter months, we'll take them consistently. And then more so when there's some sort of a threat, they also have on guard throat drops. Those are great when you need a, a little extra support with on guard. So you can see how throughout the day, it very easily can be added in. And that's not including applying on guard to my children's spine or the bottoms of their feet, adding it to the diffuser, using it on myself or my husband, a tickle in my throat. I'll apply on guard with some coconut oil to the outside of my throat. So one blend added into all of these different product lines, you end up using it for a lot of different areas. These are just some other oils to keep in mind where you're going to see some additional support with your immune system. So if we're looking at each of these, Copaiba, you've probably heard of, and you can see each of the benefits of these oils. Copaiba, frankincense, and turmeric, those are the three that I really encourage all of us to be consuming on a daily basis. They have them in soft, the copaiba and turmeric in soft gels. Frankincense is added into the lifelong vitality. But these are ones that I keep right next to where I brush my teeth, put a couple of drops under my tongue, or will take the soft gel for that daily immune support. Then there's On Guard, which we mentioned, or I already previously talked about, and then grapefruit, which is a great, anything in the citrus family, very strong cleansing properties, just a great thing to diffuse, be taking internally. I aim, you've probably heard me share this before, I aim to do about 10 to 20 drops of a citrus in my water throughout the day, just to help reduce toxic load and the benefits of citrus supporting the, the immune system simultaneously. These are the heavy hitters when it comes to your immune system. So these are the ones, if it, you'll notice it's pretty consistently the green labeled oils, things in more of the, the trees, grass, or I'm sorry, the grass and herb family. But these are the ones that are, have these really strong ability to knock out or, or work on defense, anything that is threatening the body. Melissa is, you'll notice it's like, I call it the top shelf oil, but it is amazing when you really need a, something to support the body from a viral standpoint. I'll, I'll just share, it's, it's the, the top shelf oil. And one day I caught my daughter putting it in the vacuum cleaner because she's seen me put oils in the vacuum cleaner to freshen the room. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is a golden vacuum today. <laughs> but Melissa is just a really great oil to have on hand for any type of, of antiviral thing that you're needing. And then I wanted to shift over and talk about the immunity kit options because now that they have these kits, it's, it makes so much sense to add this into your ordering style. So if you currently have your own wholesale account, which the majority of people opt to do that to begin with, when you go into your account, you have the option to do a standard order where you're getting everything at wholesale, or you can do a well monthly wellness box option. My suggestion would be to do that option. You get additional points back that you can cash in for free stuff. You get access to free product of the month. There's just a lot of perks that come along with that. Having said that, they also have these kit bundles now. And the way that it works is you choose the program. So if we were to, to choose immune system, that's what we're talking about tonight. When you choose the immune system, you then get the product that they give you for the first month 
um, there's directions on how to use it. And then, so month one, you get one bundle of things for your immune system. I'll share it in just, a, actually, I'll share it right now. So month one, this would be the collection that you get. You'll notice you get a little neoprene bag. You get wild orange. I mentioned citrus, super cleansing. Purify is a cleansing blend. So just a great, at a great addition to your diffuser. On Guard immune support bundle. There's dental floss with On Guard in it, the foaming hand soap, the sanitizing mist, and then the toothpaste. Month two, you just keep this in your monthly wellness box or your loyalty rewards order. Month two, you get a, a tongue scraper, tea tree or melaleuca. It's the same thing. That was one listed in the heavy hitters. Grapefruit, which was one mentioned in the immune supporting oils. The mouthwash On Guard Plus, which I mentioned, I think every house needs. The On Guard beadlets and then the sanitizing mist. Then month three, you get a sanitizing mist little clipper thing. The You get the sanitizing wipes, the spray, <coughs> On Guard Touch roller. So it's already in a roller bottle. You get Breathe, veggie capsules, a little roller of frankincense stronger which is the kids version of the on guard and then you get oregano and then after the three months you can opt to choose a different kit or you can start back at the beginning because you're going to need month one stuff again so these kits are awesome and it's just a great way to get additional savings on that you also have the option to choose three things just like you do on the vitamins or with the Lifelong Vitality Pack, you get to choose three things that you want at a discount. So I was mentioning things that I, I su would suggest would be a strong daily habit using copaiba and turmeric on a daily basis. Amazing for your body, amazing for your central nervous system, overall anti-inflammatory support. It's just, those are, those are, it's just great oil to take on a daily basis. Do you get them at 20% off? So it would make sense to grab the immune kit and then add these on. You'll also notice you get access to Melissa at 20% off and the new Lelouse diffuser, which I know many of you have been saying positive things about. And then the on guard beadlets, which I think are, are great. So when it comes to immune oils those are the go-to i'm going to stop sharing my screen and then we can kind of create conversation i'll check the different comments that we have and we can have some conversation so um let's go it looks like if there's just a lot of confirmation on the oils let's go around and just share our own daily immune routines that each of us do so then everyone can kind of see an inside scoop anyone have your response ready Britt okay go ahead Britt so yeah every product I was getting more excited about what to share so I'll just like condense it a little bit that's okay but... we're straight on time so okay okay you could share so I think the first thing I want to talk about is the laundry detergent because I was really apprehensive to getting that. And I remember when I first accumulated some points, I was like, I'm going to get the laundry detergent. And it came and it was in the small bottle. And then, um, so it says to use a tablespoon, but I still used more because I thought I needed more. You don't need more. You just need the tablespoon. It lasts so long. It works really nice. And even my 75 year old grandmother, who I'm sure we can all attest that our grandmothers are picky when it comes to laundry detergent, loves this laundry detergent. Like she always will give me like the 30 bucks, go get the laundry detergent. It's cool. totally worth it. Love it. Um, so that was just one of my like favorite testimonies because that was really what turned me on to the other doTERRA on guard products. I also love to clean my produce with the on guard concentrate mm -hmm. spray. So I make a veggie wash um, and I'll usually like fill up my sink and do it that way. Or I put it in a big colander or a bowl and then into a colander. 
And that's the way I just like clean my produce. Everything lasts longer. Plus it's super convenient to be able to just grab and go with the produce. Can you elaborate just in case someone watching doesn't know how, what that looks like? Yeah, so I will clean my sink and then I will put the produce in it. I plug the drain um, and I will just put a couple of capfuls of the concentrate cleaner. Usually I just do like hardly two full capfuls. Um, sometimes I'll add a couple drops of lemon too. I let them just sit and then I drain it and rinse everything off, um, dry it, good to go. But I do always think it's when you do it in a bowl, because sometimes if I'm doing just a few things, I'll do it in like a big stainless steel bowl and you pour the water out and it is like brown. Um, even with organic, clean looking produce, it's still like this brown murky water. So I really like to just do that. Uh, and then the last thing I'll say that's just coming to my mind is that anytime I'm starting to feel like a little bit sick or my throat hurts or maybe it's allergies or whatever, I will take hot water just like I was going to make tea. But instead, I'll do a drop of On Guard in my mug with the hot water, um, a little local honey if I have that even some lavender too, if it's at night, a drop of each of that. So the on guard, and it really just like coats your throat. Um, and I don't know, I hate to jinx myself, but since I've been using the products, if I get sick, it is for like a day. And usually if I feel it coming on, I can just nip it in the butt. So I love them, love them all. Awesome. On the topic of produce wash, if I don't have the concentrate cleaner, like it kind of was in and out of stock, I'll use the foaming hand wash. I like that too. And it has that same ability to create brown water. It's magic how that happens. <laughs> but yeah, that's a great point. I didn't even think about sharing it about it as a pro, uh, produce wash. Thanks. That's good. Cool. Who else is ready to go? Liz? Sure. Hi, everybody. Um, I have, I have, of course, also have like a, a vegetable wash, washing story. So <laughs> I, uh, I usually have two glass sprayers on my countertop. One is a multi-purpose uh, like countertop cleaner made with the cleaner concentrate. And then the other is a veggie wash. And it wasn't long before like Tom and I accidentally started using the opposite one to do the other thing. And uh, we eventually just ran out of the vegetable wash and I started using the countertop cleaner on it because I'm, I guess I'm lazy. And, <laughs> and it, it works really well. I just spray my, my, uh, my little apple down and then scrub it a little bit and rinse it clear. And it doesn't have that like sticky film on it anymore. Um, so that's a regular thing for us in the kitchen while I'm in there, I use oils in my cooking all the time, which is great because you really should use oils in small amounts frequently versus like, oh no, I'm sick. I'm going to like drink a whole bottle. It, it, this type of, um, medicine doesn't work that way. It's smarter and your body is. Uh, more able to reap the benefits when you do small amounts over a long time. So over a long, longer times. So I always cook with my, my oils. Typically I have cilantro and lime for more of like a Mexican flair, which is great because if, for Christmas, we're having uh, cooking culinary oils are coming out for the, in the holiday guide. So look out for those. There's also an Italian one. Um, I don't often cook with like basil and oregano and rosemary, but I probably would if I had them like pre-made up in a little dropper bottle. Um, and I always have lemon, lemon's like my goo guy. I'm going on a tangent, Never mind. <laughs> I won't talk about that. Um, but I will say, I haven't had a traditional cold or a flu. I haven't, I've only had one flu in my entire life, but I haven't had a traditional cold, winter season cold in three years. This winter will be my fourth year, knocking on wood right now. And a couple things go into that. Of course, uh, the On Guard Plus supplement, I use that every one every day, all winter long. And when the 
the pandemic hit, I just continued through the spring and I haven't stopped. So I always do one On Guard Plus every day. And the plus part of that is Melissa, if you are curious. So Melissa is like that top shelf oil and you're getting it in that supplement. So it's super strong antiviral, awesome oil. Um, and the other thing that has been life-changing in so many ways is no dairy. So dairy makes me uh, very mucusy. And what was winding up happening is I would get a buildup of post-nasal drip and I would come in contact with somebody who had some sort of germs and it would just stick and I'd get sick cycled over and over and over again all winter long and it wasn't until I cut dairy out that I I found relief and I've had a really good uh sick free streak so that if if you're curious about that and you think that that might be a thing for you just give it a try give it three weeks and see if you feel differently and you'll know if dairy is the trigger for your post nasal drip um gut health so I always make sure to eat vegetables that are feeding the healthy uh, microbes in your gut. So that's, that's basically probiotic or prebiotics uh, or basically um, like cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cabbage and leafy green veggies. And then also fortifying that with a good probiotic uh, like PB Assist. Um, so yeah, your immune system is built in your gut. So you got to take care of it. And those are, those are the things that I, I always do on a regular basis. Like those are my lifestyle things and knock on wood, we're going into winter number four of not being sick at all, like literally at all. So, uh, tongue scraping also, I just want to put a plug in for tongue scraping too, that gets all the bacteria off your tongue first thing in the morning and it, Toxins have a tendency to settle on your tongue while you're sleeping. So you want to scrape that stuff off with a good copper tongue scraper. Um, and also that helps to stimulate your GI organs. So, you know, your, like your gallbladder, your liver, your kidney, kidneys, got two of them, hopefully. Um, so yeah, you want to just get all that, all those juices flowing and a good tongue scrape in the morning can help with that. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Liz. That was good. Yeah. Um, there was something that you had just said that I, oh, for kids too, PB Assist Junior. So that is something for a probiotic for kids. And then you were sharing about the excess mucus and I, that sparked a thought too of if you have a, some sort of whatever cold thing going on and you do have extra mucus one thing that we do is load up on terrazyme which seems a little bit like what that's for digestion but what we have found is us taking terrazyme helps to break down the mucus and I've read that across lots of different um, research pages but taking terrazyme so if, if you do have occasional mucus that you want to break up you can use uh, myrrh is also a good oil for that, but terrazyme helps a ton. Britt, I see you unmuted yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, I know that just makes me think because a lot of what I teach and what I'm surrounded by is that traditional Chinese medicine perspective. And they believe that a big problem in our society is excessive phlegm in the body. And when you think of like lymph and blood and our chi, our energy is circulating through our body. If it's sticky and Liz was making such a good point with like that post nasal drip, everything's sticking, but phlegm doesn't just like accumulate just in your nose. Like it's literally throughout your whole body and you can feel it or even see it come through your digestive system too, when you are not feeling good, or maybe that is your normal. And by breaking up that phlegm, it ultimately just helps everything else circulate through the body better. So um, they, I mean, just even thinking about dry brushing too, and we've talked about that before mm -hmm. and how beneficial that can be. Um, and just taking like one of those shower brushes that you would use, but you're completely dry while you do it and you work with the lymphatic system that will also help to break up that phlegm too on like, you know, like anything else, you want to keep doing it continuously. You can't expect just one time doing it. 
to end all cure all, but I think trying to break up that phlegm the best that we can is just going to set us up for a healthier immune system too. Um, and can I just add to that, Brittany, because you taught me this. When you do dry brushing, you're, it's not meant to like scrape the skin off your body. It's meant to be like feather light. <laughs> I used to be super rough with it and it's, it's probably doing more harm than good. So yeah, just like a gentle feather light touch to stimulate. We go on a quick tangent on that, Britt, because I know you have posted about this too with oils that you use when you do dry brush, right? Or Liz, was yeah. that you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, I think we both have talked about it, but pink pepper is a really good one, um, especially just wanting to think of like breast health and pink pepper is really stimulating. Um, Slim and Sassy is a really good one too. And I usually just like, you can put like a drop on your hand and then just rub it on the bristles kind of, or put a drop like on the brush and rub it. Like you don't need to saturate it. Literally one to two drops will do you for your whole body. Uh, there's tons of good YouTube videos to watch too, to guide you through it. The first couple of times you try it and you just want to do it before you hop in the shower. So that way your skin is dry and you're exfoliating too. And you can use the harder knobby side of the shower brush or the dry brush on larger parts of your body. So it's like good for the back of your thighs, but you want to do like the soft bristle brushes on the rest of your body. I like uh, basil actually, which is surprisingly like a cool tingly sensation, almost like peppermint. And I, well, also Aromatouch, which has basil in it, are my two mm. favorites for dry brushing. What's the... Basil for um, adrenals, mm. for supporting your adrenals. And Aromatouch is just super stimulating in general. So it's gonna stimulate that lymph flow mu movement. Cool. Yeah. And I think like noticing too, when you can start to feel those signs of when you're getting sick. Like I know for me, I can notice like that my skin will start to get a little bit more dry. Mm -hmm. um, like, I mean, it hasn't happened in a few years, but you can even notice like in your poop, like not to be too graphic, but you can start to tell when things are getting a little more phlegmy and you wanna catch those early, early signs that your body's telling you. So that way you can catch it with using the on guard oil or the on guard plus if that you know just bulk up on it and everything like that i'll say wait one one last thing uh not about dry brushing <laughs> but I, I just keep getting reminded of this if i do feel like i have like a tickle or like i feel run down i will i'll do like i'll use all the things during the day but at night i will put the diffuser like inches away from my head <laughs> with on guard in it and I will let it like rain all, all over my face all night long and I'm telling you I wake up like a new person <laughs> that's extreme I don't know if you have to do it like that but I like to take all precautions <laughs> absolutely I do that too. It's so funny when it's like, when I know I really am, something's happening, I'll like angle the diffuser to like specifically shower on my sinuses, please. I am so glad you say that you do that because I feel a little crazy when I do it, but I know it works. So. <laughs> no, I do that too. Good, good. Also, I'll just add in that the diffuser is on my nightstand, not my husband's nightstand. Like <laughs> there's a full, full level of greed for it to shower on my side. Mm -hmm. Now, if Tom's sick and he falls asleep before me, I'll do the same thing right up next to his head. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't do that, but That's funny. <laughs> when I know I'm getting sick too, I'll do um, on or oregano on my feet, like, because that stinks. So I don't try to do that often yep. and then put the socks on, but that works really good. Yeah. Cool. Sarah or Sarah, which one of you are ready to share what you guys do? Hi, go ahead, Sarah. No, oh, go ahead. You started to talk first. <laughs> um, well, I, I'll piggyback on the oregano. I have an, the oregano roller. And 
there have been times that I definitely, when I start to feel sore throat or I can definitely feel the sinus pressure start to build, just rolling it a bit and, uh, and it smells like oregano. So it's, uh, you know, it's definitely got that, that potent Italian, you know, food kind of smell to it, but it's, it's really effective and it, it's, it's been really helpful. So, so one of the things that I love about the On Guard products is that when I'm making this transition into natural solutions in my life, I, I've got two kids. I've got a, a one and a three-year-old. And so finding ways to do it where it was kind of simple and easy, and it, it, it is because instead of using, instead of my kids using the regular hand soap from the grocery store, they're using the foaming hand wash. So they get not only a better product to use, it's cleaning their hands better, but it's also giving them a bit of an immunity boost when they do it. Um, it's the on guard bead lips are so tiny that my three-year-old, when I take my vitamins at night, he can sit on the counter and he can swallow one of the bead lips to help boost his immunity. Um, they both love, they call them the smells, you know, with the roller. So the, um, having the on guard, um, to put up both of their spines or on the bottoms of their feet to help boost their immunity. Um, and it's just easy ways of things that I've already been doing. So I think the biggest, uh, one of the biggest products that we all just love is the toothpaste. Um, I've always struggled with liking the flavors of toothpaste. Um, so first I like, I like the taste of it and the flavor of it, but, um, my kids are little, so they, they're, they eat the toothpaste. <laughs> and so knowing that they're, that there's a product that's safer for them. So if they're swallowing it, they're getting a bit of a boost with it, but it's also not going to be harmful to them because it's, most of the they, they stay right on. They recommend you don't swallow. And so um, it kind of just gives me that layer of, of knowing that they're safe and that they're protected. Um, I definitely, in my office, I, I have a couple of women that are really sensitive to smells, but the On Guard and the Purify and the Wild Orange together, um, they, they like the smell of that. They, they tend to not shy away from that um, because it has familiar, comforting, um, smells to all of them that, that I think that are, that are things that people really have all experienced in one way or another. So I can get away with diffusing that in the office really well. I always have an on guard uh, sanitizing spray in my purse uh, or on my person. Um, and I pass them around the whole family <laughs> because they're obviously being used really well right now. So um, that's just a few things. I, but I, I have to say that the on guard products and particularly when we're talking about boosting our immunity and being proactive with boosting our immunity have really been a quick and easy transition of things in, in my life and in my everyday routine. Cool. Thank you, Sarah. All right, Sarah. Trump for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I... Our family uses the On Guard products, um, and I just absolutely love them. Um, I just wanted to highlight on a few things because, like, when I think about my immunity system, you know, my immune system in general, um, you know, kind of like you guys are talking about, you know, I, I don't get sick a ton, and when I do, I break out the oregano, I break out the big guns and, you know, <laughs> break out the Melissa, you know? Um, but for the most part, you know, some of the preventative things that I do, I think really help. And so um, the lifelong vitality is, it's amazing. Um, it's, I am one of those people that I actually got into doTERRA because I didn't want to be one of those people that was like, you know, young and taking all these pills and, and, you know, filling my body with pills. And, um, I take a few pills when it comes to the lifelong vitality, but I know what I'm putting in my body. I know it is supporting my body. I know that it's all natural and it's, um, it's, you know, it's benefiting me in so many different ways. So it's, it's not the same, but I, the reason that I didn't like taking pills is because it was hard for me to swallow. And so I think it just tells you a little bit about how much I value them and the fact that like, it's really tough for me to swallow them, but I do it every day because I see a difference in how I feel. Um, if I don't take them, I can feel a difference. 
And so, so that's one really important thing that I just wanted to highlight because um, that's essential. I have to have that. The other thing is, you know, our family uses the cleaners. Um, um, the mouthwash is a favorite um, as well as the toothpaste. Although my youngest loves the new toothpaste that just came out. She's, she's a bigger fan of that one. Um, but um, the, the sanitizing sprays. So some of the things that I use um, daily are similar to, to what you guys were talking about. You know, I always have that sanitizing spray in that cup holder, you know, because those gas pumps freak me out. <laughs> who knows who touched those, right? <laughs> um, you know, shopping carts, things like that, you know, so I always have it um, with me. Um, my daughter has one in her backpack. My husband has one in his work bag. We, we literally have one you know, in the, in the kitchen. Um, so that's, you know, the sanitizing spray is something that is just an easy thing to, to keep with you and to use. Um, and, you know, diffusing the, um, on guard oil. <laughs> I mean, I have one in the background, like I have, I have on guard going in our house all the time because, you know, as you, um, you know, I work in a school, and so there's, you know, um, no matter where you work, what you do, you're going out into the community and, and having to at least get groceries, right? So, you know, when you go out into the community, when you go out and you're in any sort of a community area, you're, you're you know, bringing those germs home with you. And so I like to, you know, kind of keep, you know, at least every other day, some on guard going and, and um, cleansing the, the air. Um, and then my water. So what Katrina was saying earlier is, you know, I, <laughs> I have this huge like thing of water that I carry around with me. And um, I, I do love the citrus oils, um, but I've been recently combining the lemon um, on guard and wild orange um, and, um, you know, making sure that I'm, you know, obviously, you know, I only put for this big thing, I only put one drop of on guard. <laughs> it's, it's powerful. Um, just, just as a heads up, because, you know, my mother put in a few in her, you know, little cup of water. <laughs> um, so I, I missed that step, I think. When I was talking <laughs> to her. Um, so, uh, but so, yeah, so, you know, that is something that I do. And then, um, you know, just little things like you guys were talking about washing, you know, your vegetables. Um, my youngest loves when I, you know, wash our apples and then I um, put them in on guard water and, you know, let them sit in the on guard water. And then she loves the flavor of it, but also she's, you know, I'm helping to kill germs and build her immunity. So, you know, those are some of the, um, the things that I, I really appreciate. And then at night, just like Sarah was saying, you know, we do the, the on guard on the bottoms of our feet. Um, oregano is pretty powerful as far as a smell. So, um, you know, someone in the house is definitely sick if we're using oregano. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't use it very often. Um, but when we do, it's powerful and, and it's um, definitely helpful. But for, for daily use, we, we do the on guard. Um, and especially this time of the year, the frankincense and stuff on the spine too. So, so yeah. That's it. Oh, one more thing is the drops. So um, if you are traveling, um, you know, um, anywhere, I highly suggest that you have the drops with you. Um, you know, if I am, you know, in and out of, of classrooms or, or um, you know, in a school setting like that, you know, I'm using one of those on guard drops if I can, because um, I just feel like it's like this force field, you know, of like protection that I'm offering myself. So um, yeah, that's what I got. Cool. Thank you, Sarah. A couple of thoughts that came to my mind when you were sharing that. So you were talking about traveling some ideas of things for anyone that is traveling is I will use, and they have the on guard wipes now, which they, that's brand new. So in the past, yeah, they're right there. Yeah. 
which it's brilliant. And I'm so grateful in the past, what I have done when I didn't have the on guard wipes is I just have a baby. So baby wipes are always with me and I'll just take the sanitizing mist, spray it on a baby wipe and then wipe down like the steering wheel or the tray at the, on the airplane, like use that as my wipe to, to clean things. And it doesn't have the chemicals. You can get baby wipes that are just the water wipe or even have like cut up cloths around that um Liz did you want to share something on that oh I thought your hands no okay um so my hands, I don't know what to do with my hands so that is was a thought that I had around traveling and then the other two things it, that came to my mind that we do is I'm very diligent about going proactively to a chiropractor if our spine is out of alignment, our body can't respond the way that it needs to for its immune support and just all of the organs in general. So my whole family goes to the chiropractor on a, I, my husband and I go weekly, my daughter goes bi-weekly and then the baby goes uh, every few months. But that's something that we're very diligent about to keep our body responding well within the environment. And then on the similar frame of mind with spinal health and um, wellness ideas that we do is we do the symphony of the cells or a modified version of the symphony of the cells. And there's an immune protocol. If you're not familiar, anyone that's watching, just comment and we'll share it with you, but it's a layering technique along the spine. So we'll do that. Certainly when we're sick, I, every three days, there's a protocol happening on someone's spine, but even just like a uh, massage along the spine when we know that it's a time when it's extra needed. So I thought I just have to share this story. The other day, my mother-in-law um, was here and <laughs> we were going to put oils on her spine. She had asked for it. And I said, Liv, do you want to help? And she immediately ran, grabbed the coconut oil, ran, grabbed a pillow. She's three for anyone that doesn't know who Olivia is. She's my daughter. And goes and grabs the pillow, puts it down. And she's like, okay, Mima, you got to lay down. Like, she's just very like, okay, mommy, go get the coconut oil. Like, or put the coconut oil on your hand. Like, she just had the whole thing figured out. It, was, it just melted my heart. Because it's like, you know, it's cool that at three, she, that's her wellness routine. That's what she knows. So anyway, symphony of the cells is something else that we do for overall immune support. Anything else as we're talking that is, in your mind and I don't, know if, oh. I don't know if anybody has done this before and I'm late to the game but mixing on guard and lemon in the diffuser smells so good and it smells like cranberries and it's just ironic because somebody wanted a cranberry oil and then I just came across this on my own regard but mixing on guard and lemon in the diffuser to me smells like cranberries and it's just the perfect hmm. fall vibe. Cool. That just made me think too. Another idea that we do um, is like boil a, a pot of water and then put some on guard, the flume for those of you, or it would be flute now because they changed Melaleuca to tea tree, but frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano, and tea tree. And I boil up a pot of water, take it off the heat, and then just allow the steam vapors with a couple of the drops of each of those oils. And then I put my face near the steam so it can pour into my sinuses. If I really want to go crazy, I'll put a towel over my head so it's all encompassing. It feels like your face is melting off, but um, those are just intense oils, <laughs> but it, that's another way if it's something specific to my sinuses that I want to fight off. Liz, that time, I think you have something. Uh, I was giggling and I forgot I was unmuted, but, oh. <laughs> um, but I do, I do have something. I, I don't know if you can buy the Lulu's separately. Can you, is it, is it a, the diffuser? Can you buy it on its own right now? I don't I, know. The reason I say it is because I was in the um, diffuser section of the website, maybe today or yesterday, and it's not listed, but you can get it as an add-on mm. to the immunity kit. Um, and I, I'm just, I would just want to point out the price 
it's $37. You can't get a good diffuser for $37. And yeah. the little is glass. So, it's beautiful. It's so, I don't have it. I wish I had added it on. Um, but I, I didn't, yeah, it comes with the immunity kit, but not the others, I don't think. Like, not the pain one. It just comes with mind and yeah. Um, But I'm just bringing it up because it's an incredible deal. And it's a beautiful diffuser. And mm-hmm. just smart to get it. Just yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, it is nine o'clock and um, that was our intention to wrap up. So this was perfect timing. We will be doing another call next week. So again, same, same concept. We're going to do education in the beginning and then the panel. Um, So thank you everyone for jumping on with us live and watching or um, joining us in the recording. Thanks everyone. Good night.